We took these laser engraved acrylic LED signs to the next level. Whoops. <laughs> Using only Canva, and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, Builder, to make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. I'm super excited about this project. Everybody's doing these laser engraved acrylic LED night lights, but we want to take ours to the next level and still keep it easy. So this week we're going to do a little project in Canva, trying to keep it easy. Don't sleep on Canva. We're going to design an overlay out of MDF that'll go on the front and the back and it'll be illuminated in the middle. So it's going to be perfect holiday decor. We're going to do a Halloween one and we're going to do a Christmas one. Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. We needed the LED light base with the acrylic insert. We got these from Amazon. We have the link down below. We needed some eighth inch MDF because these are going to be our 3D overlay pieces. Now you can find all sizes and all kinds of MDF on our website at kngmakeit.com. We needed some paint so that we could paint the MDF so it doesn't look raw. We haven't decided on the color yet. And you can find our Foxy Hughes paints over on our website too. And then we're going to need some glue to glue the two overlays to the acrylic. And we'll be using our All Craft glue. We'll have a link to their website. This stuff is great when you're gluing to acrylic. And that is it. Step two, uh, we're gonna create our design over in Canva. And a question that we get all the time is, can I sell my digital files that I've created in Canva? And can I sell my physical products that I've created in Canva? Join us over on Patreon to find out. And I'll meet you over in Canva. Here we are in Canva. I started with a poster size that's landscaped for my canvas. We'll come over here to Elements. We'll grab some clip art and graphics. We'll be making two of these. We'll make a Halloween and then like a Christmas one. So we'll first start by finding a ring. We don't want a diamond ring. I just want a circle ring. And we know it's about 4.8 inches. So we'll bring it down. We'll give ourselves some room, we'll say five inches. Now I need a front and a back. So we'll duplicate this. This is my front, this is my back. And then we'll even leave a space in the middle for the stuff that's gonna get engraved on the acrylic. Now I'm gonna make two of these, so let's duplicate. Duplicate, I wanna move this group up. Now let's start with some Halloween. I'll grab some Halloween clip art. We'll go over here to graphics. I've already searched for a bunch of these so that I didn't have to waste your time. So we'll grab a spooky house and this will go on the back. And then we'll grab some cemetery. This will go on our front. Now I'll just size this down a little bit. Move this a little bit. I just want to capture all these pieces in there. That looks good. Let's do that. The haunted house. Now I'm going to use these bats to engrave on the acrylic. We'll put this house in here. Looks good. Now I'll leave the bats. I'll put the bats in the middle, but I can't separate them in Canva. Now we'll do a Christmas one. So in front, I'm going to want some pine trees. We'll size these down a little bit. That looks good. And then in the back, we're going to want a Santa Claus flying with his reindeer. So we'll size him down, stick him in here. We'll take him a little bit. Fine, looks good. And then in the middle, on the acrylic, we're going to want some snowflakes. So we'll just get some snowflakes that we can put on the acrylic. All right. That's it, looks good, right? So let's go ahead and download these. We'll download them as an SVG with a transparent background. Download. Now let's hop over to Lightburn and we'll finish this design up. Let's import our design that we just downloaded. Here we go. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Now we're gonna clip all these edges and everything. So to do that, let's Draw a box and we'll 
duplicate this box with control D. We'll move this box over this one. We'll grab both boxes, control D to duplicate. Move these boxes down over here. So we're going to trim all of these excess pieces off. Actually, let's move our bats real quick. We'll come up and we'll ungroup it. Grab our bats. Move them over here. Now let's trim these pieces off. Since I've already ungrouped this, I'm going to grab the outer ring since everything's ungrouped and we'll say a duplicate. So there's two outer rings now. I'm going to grab the box. Then I'm going to hold shift and grab the outer ring. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say Boolean subtract. So I should have a box with a hole in it now. So let me move this box. There you go. Box with a hole in it. Control Z will put it back. I'm going to grab this house and then grab the box I just made with the hole. And we'll come back over here to Boolean subtract. There you go. Now I want to put it all back together, but to do that, first I need to grab the outer ring and then the inner ring. And since I ungrouped them all, it's two different objects. So we'll go Boolean subtract. So now it's all one ring. Now I'm going to grab this and the house, the ring and the house, and we'll come over here to Boolean union. Boom. Now it's all one piece. So I'm going to do the same thing to the rest of the objects. But I'm going to set this one here to red. So this is going to be my cut layer. And then all of these bats and these snowflakes are going to be black for engraved. So we'll say fill. So we're going to move all of these snowflakes to the black layer, to the black layer, and the bats are going to the black layer. All right, and now all of these will go to the red layer for cutting. Oop, to those snowflakes. Move those to the black layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim these up and we'll come back to cut these out. All right, I have another good tip for you. If you need to move something just a little bit and you're trying to use your arrow keys and it's jumping too far forward or backwards or up and down, and if you hold shift, it still goes too far. And then if you hold control, it still goes too far. If you hold shift and control, you can get some fine tuned movements using your arrow keys. All right, that looks good. Now we'll make sure they're all the right size. So we'll grab each one, make sure it's grouped, control G, and we'll say width is 4.8. I mean, 4.7 was pretty good for just guessing in, in Canva. We'll group this one, and we'll say 4.8. We'll group this one, say 4.8. Now I'll group it and say 4.8. Now there's a little bit cut off of the bottom. So it's 4.8 wide, but it's actually 4.4 inches tall because of the base. So we're going to trim off the bottom right here. So I'm going to make a square. We'll put this on the blue layer so we can see it. And we'll make it 4.4 inches high. We'll align these top. I'm going to make another square. We'll just put it up against. Now I'll grab this backer and this blue square. And we'll say subtract. We'll move this over to this guy. We'll align top. I'll draw another little box. Put it up against. 
so I don't draw another box. I'm going to make a copy, control C. I'm going to grab the backer, this front box, and we'll go uh, subtract front, drag this box over here. We'll do a line top. We'll paste our box and uh, glue it till it snaps. Grab the trees, grab my box, subtract front. This one's going to be tricky. So for this guy, do we want a little bottom that goes across the bottom? Probably just to give it some stability. So we'll paste in this little guy here. We'll drag this up. We'll grab the Santa Claus, then this front piece, subtract front. Now I'm going to draw another little box just to give it a little base. Let's zoom in. Drag it out. All right, now we'll grab these two guys and we'll unite them. There, now it's got a little base. We don't need this blue box, we can get rid of it. All right, so we have our Halloween front piece with the tombstones. We have our engraved piece for the middle, the acrylic, the bats. And then we have the haunted house. Down here we have the trees for the front, the engraved snowflakes, and then we're cutting out the Santa for the back. Step three, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm gonna bring the eighth inch MDF over to the Eon Nova 14 and we're gonna cut out our two overlays. These are small enough that they can be made in any desktop laser. You don't have to have a full size standalone laser, but these are perfect for desktop laser size. Now we're also going to engrave on the acrylic piece. We're gonna add a little extra design on the acrylic. And that's perfect for a CO2 laser. If you have a diode laser, it gets a little tricky. <laughs> tricky. It really isn't met, meant for clear acrylic, but this, it's not necessary. It's just a little something extra. You know how we like to be, a little extra. So the reins burned up when I tried to cut them out. I see that now. So what I'm going to do is I made a copy over here. And I'm just going to grab Santa Claus and I'm going to give him an offset before I clip him. So I'm just going to give him a two point offset outward. And I'll select the back guy real quick. And we'll say ungroup. And now I'll grab this inner inner uh, line delete okay now I'll grab Santa Claus and this box with the hole in it and we'll clip it step four now we paint. All of our little pieces are cut out, our MDF pieces. We have our acrylic engraved, our other MDF piece. I'm gonna paint my winter scape with the Santa in this Ash Avenger white. And I'm gonna do mine in purple. Now, I did consider doing it in two colors, maybe the front layer in like lime green and the back layer in purple, but for this first run, I'm just gonna do it all in purple. So after we got everything cut out, we did a little testing in the dark to see how cool they were, and they are pretty cool. But we found that the back layer kind of got lost with the lighted acrylic. It so lays, I think it lays too flat. Yes, so what we're gonna do is add a spacer, maybe a couple additional little rings in there. Once you set the back layer off from the acrylic, the acrylic kind of shines and highlights the back layer. So Garrett's gonna go quickly cut us a little spacer and I'm gonna paint the two pieces. Paint them up. I think we need to glitter them up before we glue them. Oh. Really make them shine. Okay. Maybe we don't even need the spacer if we glitter them. Mm, I'll I make still the think spacer. you have to, yeah. Still think you gotta set it off the acrylic. Case. Yeah, all right. Step five, we're gonna bring it all together with a little bit of the glue, all craft. I did make a quarter inch frame, so it'll stick off a little bit. So we'll go um, the eighth inch piece, 
the quarter inch piece, the acrylic, a quarter inch piece, <laughs> the eighth inch piece. We'll just show you. These things turned out great. I love them. I have so many ideas now. Like uh, maybe I do the whole thing out of acrylic and make it like glitter acrylic or patterned acrylic. I don't know. I, Sky's the limit. I told him as I was gluing this one together, if we had done two layers of acrylic, I could put some glitter in there. And Garrett's like, yeah, we'll settle to the bottom. I was like, but not if you do it like this. So I think there's so many more things that you can do with this. So many things. I have a ton of ideas now. I can make it bigger. I could cut shapes out. Oh, yeah. I want to make it bigger. Yeah. So many ideas. Well, big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. And that's the best way to support this channel. And we're about out of time. I have to go make a bunch more of these designs. <laughs> these are so easy. And we will see you next week. We'll do it, build it, and make it again. <clears throat> I need some music. All right. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like the new? I thought you had it. I thought you had it. I thought I had it too. And then I glitched. Oh, I thought you were going to say something. Nope. <laughs> Hold on. What did you say? Ready? Uh-huh. We just made a new video on... <clears throat> Step two, we're going to make our design. We're just going to hop into Canva and create our design. And a question that we get all the time is, can I... Shoo-shoo? Boo-boo-boo. Shoo-shoo-shoo. And shoop. And that is it.